So yeah, it's Halloween if you haven't heard. And according to the Library of Congress, the history, the holiday I should say, originates from an ancient Celtic festival called Samhain. And it was a pagan religious celebration welcoming the harvest where people would light bonfires and wear costumes to ward off the ghosts, because the ghosts are out there. And from those early celebrations, it's where those ghost stories originate, and the Celtic people believed that during the festival, spirits walked the earth. So, why the history lesson? Well, what would Halloween be without a good ghost story? Mysterious sightings, cold chills, scary sounds, really everything you need for a harrowing tale. But 22 years ago, John Miller found something slightly spooky at a Boise business haunted by hounds in this 208 redial. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. The goings on in Tina Perrin's dog grooming shop are enough to make even a Shih Tzu shiver. So you're pretty into Halloween, right? Yeah. But you never really bargained for this, huh? No, this is new to me, yeah. The sneaking suspicion that even when she's alone in the store, she's really not alone. Grooming here and I'll, and I'll just hear like a dog whine and I'll think, oh, I forgot a dog in the tub. And I'll go to look and there's no dogs in the tub. <laughs> it's our ghost dog, I think. Now even the spaniels are shaking in their shoes. My daughter was telling me to come look at a dog picture on the wall and, and our whole shop has dog pictures on the wall so I didn't pay much attention to her until I went over and looked at it. I was just playing with my dogs and then I saw this. This was no three by five glossy. And I just saw this little dog printed on the wall or something it's weird, really weird. Really weird because nobody painted it. The dog face appeared after Tina painted the place white. It was rust coming through. I just I thought it was bizarre that we totally painted the place and, and it just it just appeared. In the perfect shape of a bulldog. Yeah, and if you look at it upside down. It, it looks like some kind of a mutant, like a spaniel of some sort. I guess if it had to be anything though, at least it's a dog. Yeah, tell that to the Shih Tzus, hounded by this lost soul from dog days gone by. Well-groomed ghost story if I ever heard That's one. right. John Miller, Idaho's News Channel 7.